Good evening, good evening. Just waiting. Oh, I know. Well, no, I can't do that yet. Never mind. I was going to plug in the phone, but I can't do that yet because we're, I got to still film it. Rip, rip, rotate it. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Come on. I know you guys can probably see me, but I, there's a little bit of a lag on my end. So I just need to make sure that it's um, going. Okay. I think we're good. I think we are good. 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 Let's see. There we go. All right, here we are. Hi, friends. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. I had to think for a minute to make sure it was Wednesday. Uh, it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. I see a couple of you chatting away in the chat. So, hi, Joe Disney fan and Wanda. Wanda said it's a beautiful spring day in Tennessee. Beautiful spring day here in Utah as well. Before we get snow later this week, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Um, hi, Kathy. Kathy said she is so happy to be here. I'm happy to be here too, Kathy, and happy to have you. Uh, from Phoenix, Roberta, hello, Wanda, Lisa Lecky. Um, she said, I'm glad I made it this time. I'm glad you made it too, Lisa. Hi, Beverly and Anne and Joy. Uh, Jacqueline and Linda, Mary J. Hi, Mary J. Blige. Uh, Trisha, hi, Trisha. Uh, Joe Disney fan. I can't remember. I've probably already said hello and then I'm saying it again. That's okay. Uh, Nancy, Janine. Okay, friends. Uh, Laura. Yes. Um, and Linda. Hi, friends. And whoever else is here. Those are just the people I can see in the chat. So um, welcome to you. If, um, if you are new, welcome. <laughs> and you're not new, welcome. Uh, if you're new, though, my name is Lael Konkar and I have a business called Lael by Mail. Website, laelbymail.com. You'll see a link to the description box in the video that will share what's new. Uh, and that page is constantly changing because it always has the what's new things on my website. So um, here tonight on Wednesday, we're here for What's New Wednesday, and I will be sharing with you four brand new Simple Stories collections. Uh, summer Snapshots, Simple Vintage Color Palette, uh, Just Beachy, and Pack Your Bag. So all of these collections are in stock, in stock on my website and shipping now. Um, this is the first of two lives I will be doing this week. So, well, actually three, three lives this week. If, if, if you're gonna see a lot of me um, or not, cause then you won't watch. Anyhow, tonight I'm sharing new Simple Stories collections. Friday morning, this Friday morning, the 22nd, had to look at my calendar over there, uh, 22nd at 8 a.m. Pacific time. I will be debuting live here on my YouTube channel, 15 brand new Lail by Mail products. So my exclusive products, uh, including the new idea book. Uh, there's also something special that I will announce um, for the weekend as well. So uh, if you can't make that live, you'll always be able to watch the replay. So don't stress. I know it's, you know, like it's in the middle of the day, start of the day, um, and some people can't make it live, but that's okay. That's when I'm going to do it. So if you can't make it live, um, you can watch it after the fact. And then Saturday, the 23rd, um, oh my goodness, no, tomorrow, okay. Tomorrow, the 21st of March, is um, marking the four year anniversary, four years of our Saturday listing sessions. So they started the very first week into the pandemic and we're still going with them uh, four years later. So this Saturday, we'll be celebrating uh, with an all day listing session here on my YouTube channel. So watch for an email to go out tomorrow morning, which is Thursday the 21st, um, with all of the details. So you'll know the time and schedule. There'll be two separate sessions because we'll do a morning one and an afternoon one. They'll be totally different, but we've got to put the break in the middle because I got to have a break in the middle of that because it's about eight hours or so. Um, so anyhow, that's the plan, okay? So uh, tonight, Wednesday, March, <laughs> I know, Wednesday, March 20th uh, is What's New Wednesday, Four Simple Stories, new, Four New Simple Stories collections. Tomorrow, March 21st, um, watch for an email about all the festivities for the weekend. Uh, Friday morning, 8 p.m. Pacific time, live here again, showing you the brand new Lail by Mail products on my channel, and then Saturday, all day listing sessions. So come, go as you please. If you can't come to all of it live, you can always watch the replay, but I'd love to have you for whatever you want to come to. All right, let's do this. Um, hi, Pamela. Hi, Christy. Nice to see you. Um, Wanda said, I'm retired. I can make it. <laughs> Uh, Kathy said, what a fun, Kathy, when's your birthday? When is your birthday? Sarah said, woohoo. Patricia, Kathy, thank you. Okay, friends, so let's do this. I'm gonna rotate the camera. I will turn off overhead lights, turn on the studio lights, and we'll get going, okay? Because lots to share tonight. All right, let us rotate. Hi, anti-caffeine crafts. All right, here we go. We are rotated. Uh, let's get these on. 
And then we will turn these off. March 22nd. Well, Kathy, happy birthday to you. You're a spring baby. All right, let's also now shut the blinds because uh, any people that are out walking in my neighborhood be like, what the heck is she doing? All right, let's turn on the fan too because I can already tell I'm gonna need that. Okay, oh, let's plug the, let's plug the phone in now. Auntie Caffeine Crafts, I love it. Second time watching, first time commenting. Yes, if you are a long time listener, first time caller, um, I would love for you to pop into the chat, right? Love for you to pop in. Okay, we, I've got lots of things going here. Lots of things going. So let's get that out of the frame. All right, Pamela said, so windy, her wind chimes are sideways. Oh my goodness. Uh, Nick likes to golf and I think he go says that it's blowing squares. I think that's probably what's happening to you. It's blowing, Nick's my husband, blowing squares. Well, I guess more like rectangles, but I think they call it squares because that means the flag is like fully extended in a shape that's recognizable, right? All right, friends, so let's jump in. We're going to start out with the first of two kind of summary collections from Simple Stories. We're gonna start with one tonight and end with one. And then we'll have some really fun things sandwiched in the center. So first collection I'm going to show you is Summer Snapshots. Um, I do have in May, a, excuse me, a summer mini book project kit uh, that we'll be releasing, so May of 2024, using Summer Snapshot. So, a couple months away, but I did wanna bring that up. I know some of you always order my, um, my summer mini book kits every year, so this year the collection I'm using is the Simple Story Summer Snapshots. But let's take a look at all the a la carte product. Okay, starting out first with the six by eight paper pads. So if you are new to Simple Stories, uh, their six by eight paper pads always have 24 sheets, two sheets each of 12 different designs or patterns. And then everything is double-sided, so you're actually just getting a lot. Um, they break their pads up kind of half and half. So you'll see the second of everything start halfway through the pad. So here we go. Um, really great, beautiful kind of pastel color palette for summer snapshots with some great... Um, like primaries built in, like that uh, built in, um, mixed in, how about that? Like the navy with the popsicles and that kind of, that totally reminds me like a pair of van shoes, little van tennis shoes. I love this stripe, like a teeny tiny pinstripe, almost kind of reminds me of a seersucker, right? Like a seersucker suit, beautiful floral. Um, now, what you're going to see in the paper pad here, obviously, um, Wanda, yes, all four have rub-ons. Um, Wanda asked if the Simple Stories collections have rub-ons. So yes, all four collections have rub-ons. Um, oh yes, some of the patterns you'll see, obviously very summery, like the popsicle, but things like that, things like that, things like this work really well for other things besides summer, right? Um, the blue polka dot, love this one, like the kind of rainbow here, but then I love how there are words on each of kind of the little parts of the rainbow. Uh, little cameras a beautiful rainbow grid. I have to tell you guys, other than um, <laughs> I've had the product uh, in stock maybe for about two weeks, other than when I ordered online and looked at the catalog with Simple Stories, I have not looked at the collection. So I am seeing it, like all the details, uh, I just as you are. So I get very excited, very excited. Uh, really fun little lemon slices, watermelon. Kind of a nice kind of green, just background, like little green grass, little summer banner there. Oh, that one is so cute. Super simple, but cute. Like the little like waves, right? Beach balls, another great rainbow. You are sunshine and happiness. Oh, that's so sweet. Love that color combination. Give me pink and orange together all day long. And then with a little bit of green thrown in. Little um, ice cream cones. Oh, another great uh, grid. And then you have the three by four cut up hearts. Oh my goodness, look at those little guys. I know we're looking upside down, but look how cute those guys are. So fun. Um, and then the second uh, sheet of cut up hearts and another really great rainbow. So that is the six by eight paper pad. Then we'll move into the sticker book. So Simple Story sticker books always have 12 sheets. Um, any of the product that I'm showing, you can see everything kind of up close 
on the website. So for example, the sticker book, you can see all the little, you can see an image that has like all the little sticker, you know, little sticker sheets on it. So it'll help you get a better feel for kind of what's included. Uh, the sticker books always have 12 sheets. The quantity of stickers varies from collection to collection, just depending on, you know, what they've done. Uh, but they always have a really good mix of icons. Oh my gosh, look at the little barbecue. And look at the little inchworm, so fun. Um, and the little kind of ladybug with non-traditional colors. Um, some, this is kind of a new little format for them, this guy. Uh, some little banner strips. Then we have some more icons. Then we have some labels. Floral. Oh, I love it when they add kind of that block alpha. I love that yellow too. Oh, that's a new one too. Kind of those little Polaroids, right? Those little Polaroid stickers. Good evening, honey, from the other room. Uh, Brandy said she loves Simple Stories papers and embellishments. Their design team is awesome. Yes, I agree, Brandy. I agree 100%, and they're all amazing people too. Um, I know that because I, uh, I used to work there for six years, if you didn't know. And you know what? That has been five years ago. Uh, April 1st, five years ago, not a joke. Uh, Pamela, Pamela, I'm so proud of you. Pamela said, Lael took my first walk around the house yesterday without my cane, only took seven months. Congratulations, Pamela. That is a huge, huge, huge milestone for you. Pamela had a couple of um, pretty serious involved uh, surgeries, well, within the last seven months, right? So congratulations, Pamela, that has to feel so good. That has to just feel so, so good. Love that one, like that little banner with the, with the letters hanging off of the banner. Uh, some nice word strips. Another alpha, a little bit kind of like a little script font there. Um, little speech bubbles, that's also a new type of sticker that they do. And then their little round icons. Okay, so those are the 12 uh, sheets, 469 stickers in the Summer Snapshot sticker book. Uh, let's take a look, take a look at the rub-ons. So since um, Wanda was asking about the rub-ons, there are two six by eight sheets in this rub-on pack. And so we see there is the first sheet. Look at that, I, there are those little waves again. I love them, love the summer. And then uh, here's the other sheet. So fun, beautiful, 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 vibrant colors. I just love the color palette in this collection. All right, so those are the rub-ons. Um, all right, let's keep going. So we're looking at all the a la carte products first, and then we'll take a really quick look at the big bundle. A uh, big bundle is when you can like click add to cart once and you get all the things in the giant bundle, even some things that I don't carry a la carte uh, at a discount for 15% off because you're buying it all. All right, next up we have the bits and pieces. So there's kind of four different, kind of four different bits and pieces packs or die cut packs with this collection. Um, Oh, anti-caffeine crafts that I'm always stumped at when and how to use rub-ons. I feel so intimidated by the fact they're permanent. Um, I, my gosh, I've been using rub-ons quite a bit in my Saturday sessions. I'm just gonna just show you really quick, okay? Because I have a feeling that maybe um, anti-caffeine crafts is not the only one um, that maybe feels that way. So let's take a look. Let's just take a look at how I've used um, these in the last couple of weeks. So, and um, there's actually two rub-ons. I layered rub-ons on this particular kind of spread. Uh, started out with that little map background, and then on top of that, did the Love This Place rub-on. So those are both from the 49 and Market Wherever collection. Um, but what I love about rub-ons, what I think makes them so different for me is that um, you can really do anything anywhere and it makes it look at, like it was part of that paper, right? It looks like it was part of the paper and not like a sticker that you added on top. Um, this is another one right here. So uh, I added two rub-ons, actually three. I layered rub-ons again. So this is from the Noteworthy collection. That um, pink kind of ledger background was the first rub-on I did. For the record, layered on top, and then on top again, that floral rub-on. So I've really been, let me just see if, where else we might see them. But anyhow, so there's a couple places I've used them. I've really been enjoying using uh, rub-ons lately. Oh, this one. Uh, this is using the 49 and Market Moonlit Garden collection. So rub-ons here. And then I layered some laser cuts on top so it gives a little bit of a dimension. 
rub-ons there and then rub-ons there as well. So um, I, I'm just so glad that they're back. Um, I've been doing crafting. I've been scrapbooking, memory keeping, whatever you want to call it. I have been doing that for 27 years. And way back in the day, um, everyone was, all the manufacturers were doing rub-ons. And then for a long time, they kind of went away. Um, and so primarily we're seeing simple stories and um, simple stories and uh, 49 and Market do them these days. But so thanks for that little segue. I love that you kind of um, piped up and said that anti caffeine crafts because in that way we can talk about them, right? Um, all right, um, anti caffeine crafts. Anytime I use them, I give a lot of tips. On, like on a Saturday, I give a lot of tips on um, ways that I think. Um, are really helpful when you're working with rub -ons. So um, if you wanted to go back and see the um, this past Saturday, which would have been the 16th, um, when I was working on about the, I wanna say one hour and 30 minute mark, um, I was doing that list uh, that I used the 49er Market travel rub -ons on. Then you could just kind of see where I give you some little tips and pointers uh, that I think makes it a lot easier to use them. Okay, back to the topic at hand. We are, um, the, these are the regular bits and pieces die cuts from Summer Snapshots. So look how big that is. I love that. That's probably going to be, I want to say about seven inches maybe, which is awesome if you're working in a larger format. Like if you're working on a 12 by 12, that makes a great title. Super cute little Summer Snapshots. So we'll just kind of go through these so you can get a feel for what they look like. Sometimes it's a lot easier if you can see them in person, soaking in the rays for days. Well, in person, right? As much as we're in person, but um, it helps you kind of to get a feel. Love that. That like greenish teal color in this collection is so good. A uh, little cute sunny day there. Oh my goodness, look at the little, um, little bathing suit and towels on the laundry line there. I would love to be there right now, right? Like on that little beach. I wouldn't even care if the seagull was sitting on my chair, uh, staring out at the waves and the ocean or the pool or whatever it may be, bring on the summer. So many, like seriously, let's see how many. 57 pieces in this die cut pack, you guys. So lots of little picnic basket, our little like Weber grill, little Polaroid, loads of cute little roller skate, badminton. And I'm surprised we're not seeing like a, um, like pickleball, wouldn't that? I mean, one of these days soon, someone's gonna do a pickleball thing if they haven't already. That is so cute, that little seagull in the sun, sunglasses, ice cream, a little, like probably that's like a 7-Eleven Slurpee, I think. A little flowers, ooh, that's a good one. Summer starts here. Summer is my very favorite. Uh, wait, is that it? Oh, it is, look it, <laughs> there's our pickleball. Pickleball a little um, racket and then little pickleball ball. So fun. Um, anyhow, lots of good things in that regular die cut pack. Oh my goodness, look at even that cute little pink inch or inchworm. You probably never think you'd hear somebody say like cute, cute worm. That's kind of an oxymoron, cute worm. Nice little beach umbrella. Oh, look at that. A little front porch swing. Anyhow, little lemonade sign. Those are the um, regular bits and pieces, okay? So now let's look at, let me just kind of, do this a little bit of organizing here because we're going to be opening lots and lots of packs tonight so as much as i can keep things organized makes it so much easier all right next up we have the journal bits journal bits joe disney fan says now i want summer to start now well good news is we are one step closer right because yesterday was the first day of spring so we're one step closer all right uh, next up journal bits so the journal bits always kind of give you a little bit more room for writing summer to-do list Oh, look at summer tracker. And you've got a little JJA. I assume that's June, July, August. Don't think about bundling up. Lay out under the stars. Say yes to adventure. Yes, yes, yes to all those things. All things sunny. So kind of some little titles. That's cute. Summer fun. Who, where, when. Oh, I love this. These little words with the, um, the little colors that are filled in. Love that technique or that little, not technique, that look right, where the little loops are filled in. Um, all right, summer fun, a little banner again. Ooh, that's a good size banner, another good piece. I'd say that's probably about six or seven inches. I'm gonna say that's more like seven, I think. Um, some tags, ooh, tan lines fade, but memories will last forever. Easy breezy, 
Easy Breezy Cover Girl. Remember that? I don't know if they still do that little tagline, but Easy Breezy Cover Girl. These are fun, those little, um, little light camera labels, and you just write whatever is next to it. More tags. Oh, those are cute too. Look at those little calendars. And then you can write the month next to it. Very fun. Little tag. I wonder what it would be like to live in a world where it was always June. Oh, I would love that. Now, I live in the Northern Hemisphere, so I love that. Now, if I lived in the Southern Hemisphere, I would probably not like that at all because June is winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Great place to be. Uh, not, not winter, <laughs> not winter. All right, so those were the journal bits. Next up, we're going to take a look at, these are super fun. Uh, we're going to look at the Polaroid, no, they're called, uh, no, Polaroid bits, yeah, Polaroid bits. So, let's look at these. These are super, let's get that out of it. Well, no, we'll bring it back, look at, they're all like little Polaroid shape. How fun are all of those? Uh, if you are 12 by 12 scrapbooker, I think you could do something like a little grid like that, line them all up, do your photos in, you know, maybe you do one, two, three in photos, and then you do photo, photo thing, and then you do thing, photo, photo. You could make a really fun grid uh, layout with those little guys. Some are skinnier than others, so these are almost like an Instax frame size, right? Easy breezy lemon squeezy, but look at all of those. They're just so fun. I mean, this type of shape, Simple Stories, just lots and lots of die cuts, different die cut packs or bits and pieces packs with all their collections. But we haven't seen them do one like this before with these fun little kind of Polaroid frames, right? Oh, look at, there's like a little get together with all the little bugs. I wouldn't mind bug get togethers if all the bugs looked like that, right? Unfortunately, they don't. Unless they're all little ladybugs, then I'm fine with that kind of get together. Any other get bug get together kind of freaks me out, to be honest. All right, so those are the Polaroids. With the Polaroids, there's 22 pieces in there. So you get lots of fun little uh, things there. All right, then we have some big guys. Hi, 111 Renee. So glad to be joining in to see all these fun, cute die cuts. Yes, we are looking at summer snapshots right now. These are the big bits, okay? The big bits. There are 15 pieces here. Uh, let me grab a ruler just so. I'm not guessing on size. So uh, for reference, that little guy is um, about five and three quarter inches. Look how fun that is. Um, that giant like triple decker ice cream cone, a little Vespa. Ooh, hello summer, that is fun. Nice little kind of beach scene. Ooh, look at this one, so good. Look at summer fun. Like I said, I'm just seeing these products. I mean, obviously I ordered them, uh, so I know what I ordered, but you know, it's so much different to see them in person. Look at that giant camera. Uh, so much different to see them in person. And then you have another kind of large Polaroid. Ooh, look at that one, my summer top 10, that big tag. All right, so those were the uh, big bits. Big bits. Okay, let's, um, oh, we have one more thing to look at before we look at the big bundle. The next thing is the washi. So, uh, Simple Stories washi always has five rolls, um, two that are smaller or narrower, and then three that are kind of your regular standard size. All right, so there we have those. And I'm gonna actually um, swatch these so we can see what they look like. Those are the two kind of standard size, and then those are your two um, thinner or narrower, I guess narrower, um, which I love that they do that because I always like to layer washi, so it's nice to have a kind of regular and then a small to work with together. Um, Margie Duffy, yes, yeah, she said, as a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, I love those bigs. I agree, I agree. Um, Anti-caffeine crafts. I started fussy cutting graphic 45 bug paper for a layout and had to stop because I was getting so grossed out. They were too realistic, right? Yeah. I could, I can understand that. I could understand that. All right. This is a super cute um, kind of little camera. This one makes me chuckle a little bit. Um, and the only reason it makes me chuckle is because um, I will tell you all of, um, all of the mini icon stamps that I do um, under my brand, Lay All By Mail, have all been designed for the entire year. Uh, one of the sets, I think it comes out in May, 
is a set of camera mini icons. So it's already designed. You wanna see? I'll just show you. I'll just show you like a, I'll just show you kind of like a, let me see. May, does it come out in May? I don't remember when it comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six new ones besides what is coming out uh, on Friday. But look at that. Uh, don't get too excited because it's not ready to come out yet. But I just thought I'd tell you, that's why I had to chuckle because look at, um, look at all the little camera stamps. It just kind of reminded me of that so much. Very cute. Okay, uh, next up and just, I, you know, you just have to wait on that. I can't remember when that is slated. I think though, well, I can tell you actually. I can tell you because I have it in my little book over here. Um, that, the little cameras, oh, July. July, that camera one is coming out in July. Okay, I'm getting too sidetracked. All right, Lil, let's stick with what we have now. How about that? Uh, how about that? Brandy said she loves sneak peeks. That's a, that's a early, right? That's three months away. This, I am such a sucker for anything rainbow. Look at that. Is that, well, once I'm done swatching these, I will bring it up to the camera so you guys can see, all right? Because, you know, it's just much better to see it when it's, when it's up close. All right, then this cute little skinny floral. And then this nice little yellow polka dot, which is just a great kind of layering. Right, you could layer this guy with any of these, right? It would go with that one, it would go with that one, it would go with that one. All right, so here we go. These are the five washi that are part of that summer snapshots uh, washi pack. All right, okay, so now I will show you the big bundle. So if you are not familiar with the big bundles that I do, I do it with all the collections. Uh, that I bring in, uh, not just Simple Stories. Uh, simple Stories, 49 and Market, um, uh, Pretty Little Studio, but I take the big bundle. Well, I should say I take all of the products, including some that I do not bring in a la carte, and they are in one big bundle. Uh, and then when you buy the big bundle, when you buy it all, then you just get 15% off because I just want to do that. All right, so the things that we already saw that are part of the big bundle. Um, all of the die cut packs, the four die cut packs, the washi, uh, the rub-ons, the paper pad, and the sticker book. So those are all the things that were all a cart. All of the rest of these things are in the big bundle. The um, frames, so you've got the chipboard frames, the enamel dots, those little glossy enamel dots, the um, self-adhesive brads with a little bonus chipboard on there. The layered chipboard, so these are layered chipboard pieces. So like here you have layer, layer, and then layers even on top of that, so you get a little bit of dimension there. Uh, you have the foam stickers, which I love, love, love these so much, the foam stickers. The chipboard, and then we have the 12 by 12 collection kit. So 12 by 12 collection kit includes all of the papers um, and those are gonna be all the papers that we saw in the six by eight pad, but in 12 by 12, so bigger scale. And then the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So all of those things, everything I showed you a la carte that we really took a deep dive in. Let's just do this really quick. I wanna see these. Um, let's just take a quick look at the 12 by 12 papers. So all of those things part of that big bundle. All right, oh, okay. This we did not see in, um, in the uh, six by eight pad. So that pattern is exclusive to the 12 by 12, but how fun, look it. Um, you put your photos there, do a little bit of journaling here, a little title there, maybe a little few die cuts there, uh, maybe a um, little journaling in one or two of these, more photos, whatever it is. But I love this paper uh, because it makes it so easy to put a layout together if you're working on a layout because you kind of have all those boxes already for your photos. Um, that really fun um, wave pattern on the back. There's the floral with the red um, ledger. You have those cute, cute, cute little um, slices of lemons with that beautiful rainbow. That color combination, the yellow, the yellow, the pink and the orange, so great together. Kind of a little grass looking paper there. Love this one so much. I love that, just kind of that 
color blocking and then within each color you kind of have the ombre dark to light nice little polka dot on the back cute little bouncing beach balls with their little shadows a navy polka dot on the back the um ice cream cone with the little red checkered vans tags back side of the tags um your journal uh elements really fun horizontal stripe uh your three-way four cards and those cute little um uh seagulls your four by four two by two cut aparts that nice seersucker vertical stripe your four by sixes there's your four by six cut aparts with the watermelon on the back all right so that's the 12 by 12 um, along with that 12 by 12 sticker uh, that's part of the collection kit the collection kit is part of the big bundle okay so that wraps up summer snapshots what do you guys think do you like it i love it it's just happy and just bright and what i love about this one is definitely it's summer themed right but it's not too themey for a particular type of summer right um it kind of covers all the summer things picnics barbecues um worms <laughs> um a little bit of badminton a little bit of pickleball uh obviously swimsuits and things like that so I uh, love, love, love that uh, collection. And if you missed it, that is the collection that I'll be using for my summer mini book project kit that comes out in May. Okay, next up. This one is a big one. This one is a big one. Uh, so again, we'll take a look at the a la carte products and then we will take a look at the big bundle. This is Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette. That is a very long mouthful, okay? So Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette. If we just think of Essentials Color Palette, your Simple Vintage, um, you know, if you know Simple Stories, it's kind of their more vintage-y line in their kind of array of products. All right, so let's take a look at the um, paper pad. No, sticker book, sticker book, hang on. Oh, here we go. Paper pad. Um, I will tell you that I have a mini book project kit with this collection coming out in April. Um, it is, this collection is so beautiful to work with. And what you're going to see as we start working, it kind of is color blocked. So um, everything in the collection, if you think of the collection name, kind of color palette, everything um, is color blocked. So you have kind of all of the colors, all the products coordinate together in the different color waves, I guess, uh, that you see in the collection. So six by eight paper pad, two sheets each of 12 different papers. Uh, so here we, this is what I mean by kind of color, color waves or color blocked, um, starting with the red. So that all has kind of a red tone to it, um, backside red. Then we get into the pink tone. Then we get light pink. Then we get orange, and you'll notice the back sides, right, are all of that kind of same colorway. There's that light pink. There's the orange, yellow, green, oh, the teal, kind of your light blue, your navy, kind of a little bit kind of indigo navy, right? And then you have kind of that lilac purple. Cream and then black all right and then it starts over again so you have two sheets each of um each of those papers so what we're going to see now is i don't know wherever this came from uh, what we're going to see is now all of the products in the collection will follow those same color waves okay so that was the um the six by eight pad now we have two different sticker books, okay? Two different sticker books. Again, same color waves. So we're going to see your sticker sheets um, each have, well, each sheet will be the color, okay? So here we go. 12 different colors, if you were counting before, one sticker sheet for each of those 12 colors, uh, which I think is awesome because this now makes a product like this go so far in your projects, right? You could do a whole red something by using the red sticker sheet and the red um, six by eight paper and then red rub-ons or what have you. 
Um, Joe Disney fan. This one is the Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette. All right, Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette. So there's the red. There is the um, pink. What we're going to see, see what we're looking at. You kind of have the same type of, you're always going to have a little label like that. You're going to have a bird. You're going to have a couple butterflies. You're going to have some circles, some buttons, um, a word, labels. So you're going to see that same type of thing in each of the sheets. There's our light pink. There's the orange. Look at the tangerines. Oh my goodness. Those of you that live in California and just walk out to the backyard and pick an avocado and a lemon and an orange, just, oh, I love that. There's your yellow, your green, your teal, your light blue, your um, kind of indigo, right? Your darker purple, your lavender, your black, and then your cream. Oh my goodness, look at that owl. How beautiful is that owl? So that is one of the two sticker books. The second sticker book, um, same color palette. You are going to have um, some typewriter keys and then um, some word strips. So here's the back. Again, all of those same colors. Your typewriter keys and then word strips. So red, pink, I love how like that pink just is so vibrant. It pops with that black. Uh, your kind of light pink or your blush, your orange. Um, one thing you'll notice too, the words that you're seeing in the word strips are different from sheet to sheet. So like the trust your heart here really um, pops out for the record, pops out. So different word strips, different words. There's your green, your teal, your light blue, your indigo your lavender, uh, black, and then the cream, all right? So two different sticker books. Uh, this one, 287 stickers. This one, a whopping 1,056 stickers, right? All right, uh, someone was just commenting about the butterflies. Louisa, hi, yes, they are rub-ons. Um, they are rub-ons. So again, two six by eight sheets and same color palette. Like, look it, you have um, the red, the pink, the blush, the orange, the yellow, 12 colors in the color palette. So there you go, right? Two sheets uh, of the rub -ons. Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette. Oh my gosh, we'll just get those off to the side. Add to another stack on the floor. All right, so next up we have the... Um, Rub-ons, I mean not rub-ons, sorry. Um, the die cuts, let's get that right. All right, four packs of die cuts. So starting out with the bits and pieces, there are 60 pieces here, 60 pieces here. And again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but you have the, let's get a bigger one out here. I don't know why I've got that little one. Um, you have the different colorways, right? So we're going to have some creams, black. Uh, there's your light blue your red, there's your indigo. So I, this is how I would end up using them. I'd end up opening them up and start separating them into their little colorways, right? Lots of little um, hearts and buttons, a little orange, I love that orange. Anyhow, lots and lots and lots of pieces. What do we say? 60. Oh, and you know what? If there's 12 colors, I bet there's probably about five pieces per color, right? special handling, so fun. All right, so those are the regular bits and pieces. Um, then we're going to take a look at the, well, let's look at the butterfly bits. Love the butterflies. Always love the butterflies. So, butterfly bits. 45 of these little guys. 45 of the butterfly bits. Um, and you can always on the website, um, on my website, you'll see that secondary image so you can kind of get a feel for everything. But, ooh, these are good size. That is about three inches, okay? Three inches wide by about two inches tall. So nice size there. I don't know why I just put those in there, but we'll look at them that way. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at all the yellows. So pretty. 
some of the pinks there. Wouldn't you just die if you saw a pink butterfly like that? How cool would that be? Beautiful orange, so vibrant. The colors in this collection are so vibrant. Oh, I love those, kind of that black and white one. All righty. The purples, the greens. Oh my goodness, look at this like indigo. So pretty. Ooh, that guy too. So the smallest ones are gonna look about, I don't know, maybe about an inch and a half. Inch and three, whoopsie, about an inch and three quarters. So nice uh, range of sizes. That guy. All right, really bright pink. So there you have it. Uh, those are the butterfly bits. Next up, we're going to look at the floral and bird bits. So flowers and birds, flowers and birds. Actually, I think I'll put them on here. Um, Jennifer, yes, Jennifer asked, um, did I see in the coming soon section that you're doing a project with the Simple Stories color palette collection? I am, yes, next month uh, you'll see it First week-ish of April, it will start, well, it'll it'll release first week of April, and then it will start shipping about a week later-ish. Um, it is a mini book. It uses the teal, the Simple Stories teal snap binder, and it is designed um, by color. So you'll have the whole book, but you'll have spreads um, that are particular to a color palette. So you'll have like a red spread and then an orange spread and a teal spread and, and so forth. Um, look at your fun little birds there. They're so cute. Um, your florals, beautiful florals. These like are ske screaming sc spring to me, like, right? Especially those guys. I don't remember what the hyacinth, I think those are hyacinth. All righty, so in the birds and the floral and bird bits, there's 45 pieces. Ooh, that sunflower, right? Ooh, and look at the pretty owl. That owl just looks, it looks serene, and then it looks angry. It's a serene, angry, angry, serene owl. Just serene, right? Beautiful little hummingbird. What are those called? Um, those, little, those little birds. I can't remember what those little birds are called. Um, they have an interesting name, but I don't remember. Someone will tell me I know it. Oh, Pamela said where she is, they have pink and yellow moths and they're called pink lemonade moths. Oh my goodness. No, not a parakeet. Um, it's something different, Aunt, well, or maybe it's a parakeet, but there's also another word, a budg budgie or something like that, right? A budg budgie? Uh, no, it's not a budgie. I'm not sure what it is, but um, if my friend Vicki was here, she would know. She calls them, I don't know, they're called something, but I can't remember. Besides a parakeet, I'm not saying a parakeet's wrong, Auntie Craps, but there's another, there's another thing I'm thinking of in my head. All right, those are the birds and florals. Next up, we have, I love these. Budgie, budgie, a budgie, there we go. Okay, a budgie, <laughs> British word for a parakeet, yes, yes, okay. I, the, I thought budgie, but then I'm like, maybe, I'm not sure. All right, these are awesome. These are the sentiments, sentiment bits. 53 pieces, again, look at all in that color palette. So if you like to mix and match colors, collection is great for that because everything coordinates. But if you like to go with a particular color palette, then you've got all the things that you need because it has all the color palettes. But just these great sentiments. Thanks, happy, um, I don't know what that is yet. I'm gonna have to wait, that maybe looks like an and. So you have a script words and then you have, um, then you have uh, some like little labels, friend, uh, heart, lucky, wishes, wishes. So it looks like we have words that are repeating in the colors. So like there's an orange birthday, a black birthday, but you don't necessarily have birthday in all the colors. So they're just kind of varied. Hello, hello. And then lots of these guys. So you could with some of these um, birthday wishes. I think for everything you could do like this. Look at, you could do like thanks for everything if you wanted to layer those on like a card or something like that. That would be really fun. But you could also use these of course for, you know, just your other projects. Bright, best, and then all of these little guys. All of those little strips. Happy day, shine, um, hello. I think that says like, hello, my. So I'm imagining from what I'm gathering, I think we're probably building and layering, right? So 
Uh, hello, my, I think we saw one in here that said friend, right? So you could, um, there we go. Hello, my friend. Now that could work very well on a layout, right? If you are, you know, or, or list or something like that. Maybe you're listing your best friends or um, doing layouts with your photos. Hello, my friend could totally work as a title or something like that could work with, um, it could definitely work with like a card if you're doing a card. All right, so those are the sentiments pieces and there are 53 of those. All right, last two things we're going to look at um, in this collection before we look at the big bundle, washi. Now, um, these two packs of washi are different than we are used to seeing. Okay, I'll show you. Um, normally with Simple Stories, we see this, the five rolls like we just looked at, the three um, taller, kind of your standard size, and then the two that are narrower. With these two packs, um, you see the difference? Uh, with these two packs, they are, there are more rolls and they are all that kind of same standard width. So you have six rolls, six rolls. The difference between these two, color palette. So you have the um, warm color palette, which is going to be your pinks and oranges and reds and yellows. And then you're going to have your cool color palette, which is the other half of the collection. Uh, the greens, the blues, the purples, and the blacks. So we will take a look at these. Okay, just to, hold on. Um, hang on one second, friends, okay? We're gonna try, come on. If you go where you're supposed to go, okay? You gotta stay in your little bucket. You have to stay right here. You stay here, okay? Sit down, sit there, sit in your bucket. You get in your bucket, you can't come. Sorry, friends, Cat really, really, really wanted to come in. Uh, he was scratching at my door. So he wanted to come in. We'll see how he does. Um, because if he decides that he's going to, oh yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll see how Reggie does with us. Um, okay, you stay there. All right, next up, we were talking about the washi. Sorry about that. Um, I think what I'll do, rather than swatching these, we'll just kind of take a look. This will give us a really good feel on the back. So this is the warm collection or warm part of the washi. You have the cream, you have the pink, dark pink, red, orange, and yellow. Hi, Vicki. Um, I was just talking about you because I was trying to remember the other name for a parakeet. And then we figured it out, a budgie. Um, no, I'm talking to Reggie, Vicki. <laughs> talking to Reggie. Um, all right, there we go. Those are the warm washi that are part of that color palette collection. And then we have the cool, the cool. Get in, get in your bucket, get in your bucket, Nick, no. Um, Reggie likes to be where I am all the time. And uh, which means if I'm working a lot, then he is trying to lay all over my table where I'm trying to work and design and so forth. So um, one day I had like this white Ikea, you know, well, it's like a little, I don't know, container or whatever. He loves to get in that. It's on my desk. So now that's where he goes. So um, sometimes I can put him in that and he'll sit there, his bucket. Yeah, get in your bucket, get in your bucket. All right, friends. so those are the a la carte parts of the um, color palette, Essentials color palette. Then you have the big bundle. So the big bundle has all of those things, right? Big bundle has all of those things that I shared that are a la carte, plus some other things that I do not bring in a la carte. Big bundle, um, again, when you purchase it all as the bundle, then you get 15% off. So um, at, at some point, if you're buying a lot of things in the collection, it really makes more sense to, um, really makes more sense to just buy the big bundle. So let's see what we have. The things I already showed you, both of the sticker books, the six by eight pad, uh, the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four die cut packs. You have the rub-ons, the two washi. Then the things that I don't have a la carte that you haven't seen that are also part of that big bundle. You have two packages of the foam stickers. So again, colorways, right? You have the pink and red, orange and yellow, green and blue, uh, indigo and kind of a lavender. Two packs of those. You have the chipboard frames. So six of the chipboard frames. Look at how beautiful. They all kind of have a little bit of that like patchwork feel to them. 
you have two packets of the enamel dots. Again, warm and cool. We've got kind of all, all, all things covered there. Oh, more foam stickers. So this big bundle is four packages of foam stickers. The beautiful butterflies, look at that. Beautiful butterflies and then the florals. And then you have the words or the sentiments also in the foam stickers. Everything color wave, right? Everything color wave. You have the chipboard and then you have the 12 by 12 paper pack. So 12 by 12 paper pack, we're going to see one sheet for each kind of color, one sheet for each color palette. And the 12 by 12 sticker. So the 12 by 12 sticker represents all of the colorways. The B-sides are all going to be kind of your buffalo check in each of the colors. And then the 12 by 12. So you have the red, the pink, the light pink, the orange, the yellow, the green, the teal, the light blue, the indigo, and the lavender, and the cream, and the black. All right? So all of the things that I just showed you there on um, part of that big bundle. And as a quick reminder, when you purchase the big bundle on my website, then you get 15% off because you're just buying it all. Buying it all. All right, this one I think could last you a long time. Long, long time. Uh, the mini book project kit that I have uh, coming out with this comes out next month in April, so watch for that. Okay, next up, travel. Christy Amber said, I love this so much. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? It is so, so pretty. What, Vicki, you have a cat or a bucket or a husband? <laughs> or all three. Uh, Pamela said, my favorite for this year. It's a beautiful collection, isn't it? Okay, next up, we are taking, taking, we're taking a look. We are taking a look at, hi Karen. Um, we are taking a look at Pack Your Bags. Uh, in April, I also have April, April's a big month. Um, in April, I have actually three project kits coming out. Uh, the Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette Mini Book. I have a travel mini book project kit, and then I also have a travel traveler's notebook project kit. So the travel mini book kit uses the Pack Your Bags collection. The Travel Traveler's Notebook Kit uses an entirely different manufacturer, different travel collection. All right, so we'll take a look again at the individual a la carte products, and then we will take a look at the big bundle. Um, I wonder, huh, now I'm trying to remember, this one must not have a sticker book. I wonder where my catalog is. I don't think it has a sticker book. Or if it does, then for some reason I didn't order it. Anyhow, uh, I'll figure that out. Hi, Melinda. Okay, so pack your bags. Um, pack your bags, to me, is similar to Summer Snapshots in that it is not, um, it is not specific to it. It is not specific to a certain type of travel or a certain area. It's not beachy, it's not city, it's not country, it's not European, it's not Canadian, it's not US. And I think those are the best travel collections because they work for pretty much any kind of travel. All right, beautiful color palette, which makes it um, work for lots of different photos and lots of different travel destinations. Pack your bags, six by eight paper pad, two sheets each of 12 different papers. Look at that, all the suitcases, let's go. Yeah, let's go anywhere. Um, you will see me use, um, I think I have Pack Your Bags planned for this Saturday uh, on our all day listing session, which is the 23rd. Um, let's go, super cute. Love the rainbow, the florals with the kind of dark background. A nice kind of basic there. That is really fun one with all those little outlined words, travel themed words, a nice vertical stripe. Explore, dream, discover. Nice, again, little neutral, a dot. Super fun luggage tags. See, it says fun. Hey, trip, go. Love the luggage tags. A nice red floral, which again can be super neutral as a background. <laughs> Cute, look at a little airplane with the clouds. Darling, darling, darling. Good neutral. There are some little things that you might be uh, taking on your trip. Little travel icons. 
suitcases, taxi cab, love that. Uh, a nice map, neutral background. I'll go anywhere with you. Look at the little um, suitcases sticking out the boot or the, uh, the back of the car. Um, Pamela said, which one comes out first for the kits? So Pamela, April is the um, color palette mini book is April. Uh, the um, April, all three. So the color palette uh, mini book will come out first. Um, what I'll try to do is I'll actually try to have them all come out together because when people want to order, you know, more than one, like maybe the summer on the travel mini book or travel mini book, travel, traveler's notebook class, it makes it easier if you guys buy them all together on you because then you're just paying shipping once. So that is the plan. That is the plan that they, the three of them would be coming out together uh, in early April. Uh, cute hearts, right? Look how cute those hearts are. Some suitcases again. More hearts. Uh, your three by four cut aparts. Your second sheet of three by four cut aparts. And then uh, some geotags and then those 12 repeat again. So th that is the paper pad. Um, then we have, let's take a look at the rub-ons. So two sheets of six by eight rub-ons. That film strip is super cute, isn't it? That film strip, like old school film strip. Uh, your outlined words, globe, little banner, the best view, kind of a little city view there. Oops. And then uh, these little guys. I love this color palette too. I just think it doesn't matter if you are, like I said, if you're in Europe or you're in China or you're in uh, Durango, Colorado, um, Hawaii, wherever you are, these would, even your own home, right? Maybe you're just doing like a staycation and doing different things around your town. Uh, that color palette works for all kinds of travel. All righty, let's take a look at the die cuts. Three different die cut packs, starting with the bits and pieces. Kind of retro, right? Karen said, um, kind of a 70s, re 70s retro look to the paper. Um, yeah, very fun. So the regular die cuts, there are 47 pieces here. So you're gonna be your little icons. There's your taxi cab, your little map of the US, road trip, some sunglasses. Oh my goodness, can you guys see a cat's tail? What the heck? He's like totally grooming himself here. Dude, this is not working for me. This is not working for me. Let's put you in your bucket. Do you go in your bucket? Let's put you in your bucket, okay? Or I'm gonna go get Nick and have him take you out. So you better get in the bucket and stay. Of course, Nick is oblivious in the other room. Um, oblivious, anti-caffeine crafts, you're recovering from surgery. Um, best, best, best wishes, um, best recovery to you. Uh, pack your bags. Oh, I love that one. Look at that. Here we go. Kind of a little Polaroid. There's our little film strip. Car loaded with luggage. A little city bus. Kind of reminiscent of a little butt. Oh my goodness. Reggie. Oh, he just wants to be a part of things. <laughs> Look at the little neck pillow. Well, if he's going to just stay off to the side, I might just let him stay there. Fun little carry-on suitcase. Christy, the men are always oblivious. <laughs> Seriously, so true. Nick's in the other room. I know he can hear me. I could, well, I don't know. Maybe he can't. Maybe he can't. Maybe he's just ignoring me, tuning me out, right? Uh, all right. A little cute sleep mask, a little bicycle. Where to next? Yes. Some little headphones. Enjoying the journey. Just great, really great, um, useful. I'm going to say useful icons because not specific really to any one thing besides travel. All right, so those were the regular bits and pieces. There were 47 of those guys. 47 of those guys. Just push these off to the side here. Gotta try to keep things organized. Then we have the journal bits. Um, do I have those in here? Let me just do this really quick. If I can, I'm gonna try to keep all these together. So let me just pop these in here real quick, friends. We'll just do that so then I'm not intermixing things. All right. So then we have the journal bits. The journal bits, 26 pieces. And again, the regular bits are always a little icon heavy. And I don't mean heavy in a bad way, but they're pretty much your icons. Whereas the journal bits um, leave you a little bit more, kind of a little bit more room. Morm. Oh, he's a, he went into his bucket. He's laying down in his bucket. Hooray. 
Good job, buddy. Let's stay there. All right, uh, the journal bits. <laughs> Very distracted this evening. Uh, 26 little journal bits. So the journal bits are gonna give you a little bit more room for writing, whereas the regular bits are a little bit more icon-oriented. Like, look at that little open suitcase. You could do a little tiny bit of journaling or put a little title right there. Um, if you are traveling on an airplane, you could do um, alphabet stickers, the three-digit airport code you're departing from and the three-digit airport code that you're flying to. Little taxi cab. Oh, look at that. It's like a little traveler's notebook ready for us to write something in. Little map here and there. Notes, some labels and little tags, another little open suitcase. Oh, that's reminiscent of travel, isn't it? Like an airmail, like a little airmail envelope. Cute. Little ticket. Let's get away. Um, so there we go. Those are the journal bits. Uh, then we're going to take a look at the third pack of um, kind of your bits and pieces. Those are the big bits. So your big bits are going to be much larger. Uh, fewer pieces, but much larger. So 19 pieces in the big bits. And those would look like... Whew, I'm working up a sweat here, friends. Uh, Christy said, my dog could be barking while I'm on a live and my husband will be right in the next room watching TV and claiming he never heard. And then she put the little skeleton, <laughs> little skeleton head. That's funny. All right, big bits, uh, 19 pieces here. Let's do our little measuring again so we can get a feel for scale. That guy is about five inches tall. Super cute suitcase. Ooh, look at this. That would be great for a title on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. Six and a quarter wide. I love that. Um, that's also probably about six and a quarter, kind of your little city scene. Woo, little airplane, so good, six inches, right? So these are definitely more sized for mini books, like if you're doing a six by eight mini book, um, or a 12 by 12 scrapbook page or 12 by 12 scrapbook spread. Um, some of these are gonna be too large for things like a traveler's notebook, but not all of them. I mean, some of these would definitely work, but something like this, where it's wider than six, um, or wider than five, which is typically the five inch wide is the um, size with Traveler's Notebooks we use. So some would be a little bit too large for that, but others would work. All right, and the little camera. Love those big bits. Those are awesome. Those are really good. Okay. Okay. So the last thing that we're going to look at in the Pack Your Bags collection is the washi tape. And then we'll take a quick look at the big bundle because again, big bundle uh, with all the collections. Big bundle will give you everything that I'm showing all the cart. And then also, um, also, also, also some more things. Also, I need that suitcase in real life. I know, right? Um, okay, where are we? Oh, here we go. All right, so pack your bags, washi, six, excuse me. Five rolls, three are your standard height, and then two are a little bit thinner. Oh, look it, and guess why he's coming in, friends? Nick's coming in, and do you wanna know what he's doing? He's shutting the door, because that tells me he thinks I'm too loud, which means if he can hear me, because he needs to shut the door, he could hear me the whole time talking to the cat and telling the cat he needed to move. Am I right? I can't control this your cat, that's your cat. It's not my cat, and you could come and get him. He's fine now, though. He's fine. I don't know why you're yelling at everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, he's walking away. I could not have scripted that better if I could after we're talking about that and talking about, I know, Christy, isn't that hilarious? Um, yeah, after I'm saying, why doesn't he come get the cat? I'm sure he can hear me, da 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 He comes in to close the door because I'm being too loud. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. You cannot make that stuff up. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna put this one down here because that is kind of similar, right? A little bit similar to the same um, little color rainbow that we saw in Pack Your Bag, or not Pack Your Bags, but in Summer Snapshot. Um, this cute little suitcase. I'll get these down and then I will bring it up to the camera. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Little suitcases, uh, this really pretty floral. I love the contrast with the dark. Like that. And then we have the two skinny minis. Uh, this red floral. 
and your little skinny ones are great for layering with the um, wider. And then this little kind of little graph. All right, there we go. Hi, Carla, nice to see you. I know Christy said, he walked right into that in the best way. He sure did. So um, pack your bags, pack your bags washi right there. Okay, so those are all the a la carte pieces that are part of pack your bags. And now we are going to look at the big bundle. The big bundle has all of the a la carte pieces that I just showed you. When I say a la carte, I mean, those are the things that I uh, have on my website that you can buy. You know, like if you go to um, a restaurant, like a Mexican food restaurant, you can order a taco and a burrito, or you can order like the combination plate. Your big bundle is like your combination plate, right? Uh, where are we? Where am I? Where did this go? I'm trying to keep this all together. Okay, so big bundle includes the washi, includes the ribbons includes all three of the die cut packs, the bits and pieces, the journal bits, uh, the, oh, there it is. There's a sticker book. I wonder why I don't have a sticker book in here. Um, so I'm going to stop really quick. We're going to take a look at the sticker book because the sticker book is available a la carte as well. It just for some reason was in my little pile of probably like, I don't know, 60 products that I have here. Uh, so let's take a look at the sticker book real quick because I thought that's so weird that there's no sticker book. All right. So 12 sheets in this particular sticker book. There are 272 stickers. Uh, your icons. More icons. Your little um, round circles. I guess round circle is kind of saying the same thing, right? Oh my goodness. Look at the sightseeing bus. I love that. That's one of my favorite things to do when I travel, if I'm going to like a big city and it's uh, usually it's, it's if I'm international um, and I don't have a lot of time in that maybe main part of the country in that city and I wanna see it. That is the best bang for your buck to see lots of things if you have a short amount of time. Your little bus like that, your little sights, your hop on, hop off bus. Hop on, hop off bus. I did that uh, when I was in Cape Town, South Africa and oh my gosh, it was an amazing way to see the city. Uh, all the little labels, more icons. I love it. There's so many icons in this book. These, I love these. I love that font, just kind of the outline, all those great little words and phrases, more words and phrases. Good size, right? Another good size. So like that one is about five inches wide, just shy of five inches. So that's awesome. Uh, your kind of washi strips little icons. Sometimes you wish you had more than one camera or more than one airplane. Multiples there. Your luggage or your, um, yeah, your luggage tags. And then some little like labels. Okay. So that was the sticker book. Part of the big bundle, but also a la carte. All right. So those, there are your big bits. All right. So that's all this. Those are all the things that are a la carte. And then the rest of things that you have in the big bundle are like this. The chipboard frames. So your chipboard frames are always um, working with your three by four and four by six photos. And sometimes you have a side by side, you can put two three by fours and then you've got a lovely like frame for a little four by six there. Uh, you have the um, self-adhesive brads with a little chipboard along the bottom. The self-adhesive brads are metal. Um, so it's a metal uh, embellishment that has your little um, epoxy on top and then a sticker like a really heavy duty sticker on the back so self-adhesive brads you get the look of a brad without having to have a little prongs on the back your uh, matte enamel dots okay now he wants to leave now reggie wants to leave there you go bud there you go okay you have the two sheets of foam stickers great titles i always love the simple stories foam stickers time for a vacation let's get away explore ready to travel you have the chipboard stickers, another great size for title. And then you have the 12 by 12 paper pack. So 12 by 12, uh, 12, 12 by 12, 12, 12 by 12 papers along with the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So there's the sticker sheet. And then we look at the papers. Nice little cityscape there with your blue dot on the back. 
There's your little airplane with the red grid. That really pretty, I love that dark background on that floral with a yellow map. Some little cacti, green. Different types of transportation vehicles. I love that sightseeing bus with like the flat top. Geotags, suitcases, hearts, luggage tags, red floral. Your tags, journal bits, or excuse me, journal elements. I love these little hearts, like going and coming and little arrows. Your three by four cards, cut aparts. Your two by two and four by fours. I love kind of this photorealistic, um, little like hint of photorealistic art in the collection. Uh, the words, and then you have your four by sixes with that really pretty rainbow in the back. Okay, so that was Pack Your Bags. The uh, last half of that was the big bundle. So all of those products in the big bundle for 15% off when you buy the big bundle. And then the beginning of that, we took a look at the a la carte, and then I snuck the, the sticker book in there. Okay. Okay, so last but not least, the fourth collection that we are going to take a look at, and again, these are all in stock and shipping now, uh, all the products that we've seen. Um, the pack your bags I will be using for my travel mini book project kit that will come out in April. Uh, okay, now we have Just Beachy, Just Beachy. Uh, hold on, Gina said we did the hop on hop us in New York. After going around once, we knew which stops we wanted to get off at, right? Because a lot of times you can do it more than once. You buy the ticket for the whole day and then you can, that's smart, go all the way around and then go around again and know when you want to hop on and hop off. I like it. Uh, Carla said we took the tour trolley in Washington, D.C. It was a great way to pack and seeing a lot in a very short time. And what's so nice about that too is when you do things like that, you get the commentary. So they tell you things about what you're seeing in the city and things like that that sometimes you don't, you know, get to see. Um, all right, so just beachy. Just beachy is summer-ish, but it's more, well, beach, right? It's kind of like beach summer. So this is very much, obviously, it's called just beachy. This is beach. This is all things beach. Um, starting out with the six by eight paper pads. So as we've done with the rest of the collections, we will take a look at the a la carte products first, and then we will take a look at the big bundle. Six by eight paper pad. Two sheets each of 12 different patterns, making waves and catching rays. Oh my goodness, look at the fish. And oh, look at those, all the little creatures there. They're not really creatures. Hermit crabs, octopus, sea turtles, a puffer fish, little whales, cute. Squid, really fun. A uh, little wave, some florals, kind of tropical looking florals. Um, snap and picks, love that grid or ledger. Ooh, this is, um, uh, not this. Um, sorry, I saw I got a sneak at the next two. A nice diagonal stripe and a little map with geotags. But this, this kind of treatment on um, both of those papers makes it kind of reminds me of OP. You guys remember like Ocean Pacific? Well, I think it's still around, but back in the day. Um, I love that kind of weathered look on both of those pieces. Uh, some um, ferns, I think. Travel with me. Um, little scene with a kind of like a Hawaii or Fiji looking scene, a mountain in the background with palm tree. Uh, really fun summer icons. Oh, that's so cute. And I love that color combination again, the orange and the blush. Nice little kind of beachy wave there. Monstera leaves. Really pretty floral there on that grid. A nice yellow um, and white flower. And then you have your two, uh, Sheets of three by four cut aparts. You're a lifesaver, thank you. All right, six by eight pad. Then we move into the sticker sheet. So we have 12 sheets again. All the Simple Story sticker books have 12 sheets. This one has 349 stickers. Um, a nice assortment of icons. Oh my goodness, cute. Fun sun. Fun sun, yes, Christy. Um, Christy is naming the designer that designed this collection, Kelly Bangs. Uh, Kelly Bangs is one of the Simple Stories designers. You can start to get a feel for her collections because you'll notice her style, very much her style. Uh, flea market, 
was one of her collections. Uh, Noteworthy um, was one of her collections. Uh, True, Col True Colors, I think. True Colors, one of her collections. Always really bright colors, um, really kind of fun and hip. And there's a nice alpha there. Um, little circles, some little labels, word strips. Uh, you can always, she always has a floral, and her florals to me are very recognizable. Very, very, very recognizable kind of her style. So lots of great florals there. Um, some nice little like beach wood signs. Oh, and look at those. So fun. A Norwal. Love all those little creatures. Very fun. Some signs. More signs. Oh, I know what these are. These, we'll talk about these in a bit. Um, these are all stickers, right? These look like um, you might see like vinyl stickers. It'll make more sense in a minute. Uh, and then more little sticker stickers, okay? Uh, like stickers that you'd normally, you might see someone put on a water bottle or on a laptop or something like that. Uh, and then some little uh, luggage tags, okay? So that is the Just Beachy um, sticker book. I'll just jump to these right now. Um, this is why I said this will make sense in a second. Um, they, there are one, two, three, four, actually five packages of die cuts in this collection. I'm going to start with this one. This one is called sticker bits. So not to be confused, these are not stickers. These are die cuts, like the bits that we're used to seeing from Simple Stories. But I think they called these sticker bits because they look like the stickers that you would see, um, like vinyl stickers that you would see someone putting on you know, their, um, I was gonna say their surfboard because Karen said on a surfboard, right? Yes, on, they could be like on a surfboard, um, on a um, water bottle, on a laptop, um, whatever have you. These are called sticker bits, but they are not stickers. They're die cuts, but they're calling them sticker bits because they kind of look like artwork for vinyl stickers. Hopefully that's not too confusing. All die cuts. Uh, that pack is 39 die cuts, okay? Ciao. I love traveling. Pack up. Oh my goodness, talk about OP, right? Talk about OP. That totally reminds me of that. Anyhow, um, cruise. Anyhow, lots of fun. Lots of fun things in that package of sticker bits, but they're not stickers. They're die cuts. I'm sure, uh, well, I don't know. I That may cause some confusion just because uh, they're called sticker bits, but they're really die cuts. Uh, but I get what they were doing. I mean, I get, they look like stickers. They look like sticker artwork, maybe I should say. All right, so let's keep going with the die cuts here. The die cuts, let's look at the regular bits. How about that? The regular die cuts. Oh my goodness. I see the cutest little peacock in here. Uh, Nick and I, my husband and I, were in Hawaii a couple weeks ago because he um, has a big conference there every year. So I, of course, tag along. And we were on the North Shore on Oahu, and uh, this, a guy just like this, this little peacock, they're all over there. So just walking across the road, we were at a little stand getting um, an acai bowl, and this little guy just walking across the road. So I totally get that, the little, um, like the little uh, peacock at the beach. Really fun wave. That is so cool. Some airline tickets, sandcastle, um, beach. So if you're looking for like beach travel, this is definitely it because it's just beachy, right? It's definitely, oh my goodness, look at that guy. How cute, how cute he is. Um, definitely all beach. Now, different kinds of beach, right? This could be Southern California beach. This could be um, Florida beach. This could be the Bahamas beach. It could be lots of different beaches. Oh my gosh, we are on holiday. Do not disturb. Such fun things. Uh, Hawaii beach for sure, like luau, right? Little whale, so cute, just happy little whale. All right, so all of those guys in that pack, there are 60 bits and pieces, so tons. Oh my goodness, like the little VW bus. Lots and lots, little tiki huts. Lots of die cuts in there, little um, tiki, right? There, you could have, um, usually don't see those more, uh, well, you can see them west coast, but more like northern west coast, like Oregon and um, Washington. Anyhow, uh, those are the regular bits and pieces. Uh, next up, we will take a look at the floral bits. Floral bits. So floral bits, obviously, are going to be 
uh, lots of different florals. Um, floral bits are something that um, if you're really drawn to this collection, but you're like, I love the colors, I love the designs, but I don't really do beach, floral bits would get you there, right? Because they're flowers, you could work those floral bits into any of your projects. You'd have the lovely artwork, you'd have the lovely color palette, um, but without having to do beach, right? If you don't do beach, but you, you like the way it looks. Uh, so here we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. That big cluster of flowers. It's just so pretty. So pretty. Lots and lots and lots of those. Uh, let's define that. 39. Lots and lots and lots as in 39. And all different sizes, right? All different sizes. So I'm going to say that this guy right here is probably the biggest one. That's probably about three inches. Oh no. Well, about three and a half. Yeah. So nice size, nice scale, but um, beautiful colors and that lovely artwork. Those are the floral bits. All right, we have two more bits to look at. Uh, the next one, the journal bits. So again, uh, your regular bits and pieces are always going to um, be more icon heavy. Uh, and then your journal bits are going to leave you a little bit of room to write. Maybe add titles to or do a little bit of journaling. Those will be journal bits. We have 34 journal bits. Um, journal bits, there are 34 in there. Look at how cute, tropical paradise. Ooh, I like that. Look at the boarding passes. Those are fun, aren't they? And a couple different colors. Luggage tags, a little bit of journaling there with a toucan, like Toucan Sam. Geo tags in a couple of different colors. Popsicle paradise, flip-flop paradise. Oh, that's fun. Photos, some different labels that are little tags. Like that. Uh, sunglasses, you could write in those. More um, like luggage tags, more labels. And then you have some of those like wooden signs. All right, palm tree paradise. Those are the journal bits. All right. Uh, last package of die cuts that we're going to look at in Just Beachy, the big bits. So the big bits, again, um, are going to be much larger scale, fewer, but much larger. Uh, 21 of those, these are great for 12 by 12 scrapbookers, right? Or if you're doing a mini book, um, many of them would fit in a mini book, like a six by eight, something like that. Um, but these are definitely much larger scale. Like look at our little toucan. Love these guys. That reminds me of like the East Coast, right? East Coast of the U.S. We see um, kind of little, little beach houses like that up on the stilts. Oh, look at him. Really fun little flamingo there. Oh, this wave. I love that wave. Your little VW bus. Our little palm trees. A nice big floral. Room key. A camera, a large sun, and then a couple small guys. So those are the big bits, big bits. Okay, two more things to look at in Just Beachy before we take a quick look at the big bundle. I'm gonna just get these back in here quickly. Next thing we'll take a look at the rub-ons. So rub-ons, two six by eight sheets. All right, here we go. The colors, this just, this color palette, everything just like jumps off of the page. Love that little kind of rainbow, the wave again. Obviously I like the wave, I keep saying I like the wave. Uh, and then the little whale, the little fishies, very cute. Love that font, paradise. So those are the rub-ons, two six by eight sheets. And last but not least, we will take a look at the washi. And then we'll take a really quick look at the big bundle. Oh, come on. Okay, washy, washy, washy. Let's get that out of there. It's giving us a little bit of a glare. All right, let's get us a new fresh page here. How about here? How about here? So washy in just beachy, five rolls, three rolls that are standard width, and then two rolls that are narrower, which I love that they do that because then they're great for layering. So there are your three that are standard width. 
here are your two that are narrower. I will put all of these down and then I'll bring um, it up to the camera so you can kind of get a better feel for what they look like. Oh, that's so fun. That rainbow with the palm tree. Um, da -da -da -da. This mint color looks really pretty. And then, oh, this little floral teal background. Reggie's back. He's back in here again. Oh, love that teal. And then we have two narrows. Um, so this little orange guy kind of looks like a wood grain pattern, a little bit. And that maybe like on a tiki hut. And then this wave. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Maybe I need to work on my adjectives. Okay, here we go. Five rolls of washi that are part of Just BT. Colors are just so vibrant, aren't they? Oh, Reggie agrees. Dude, Reggie, buddy. Yeah, he's like, I'm just going to stand here. I'm just going to stand in your way. Get in your bucket. Get in your bucket. Hold on, friends. Let me just try to get him in his bucket. And if he doesn't want to cooperate, then I will take him to the other room. There you go. Stay in your bucket. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, let's cross our fingers. He's just standing there. Okay, uh, yes, anyhow, I, I showed those to you, right? I think I showed those to you before he jumped in. There we go, the five washi. Okay, so those are the products that I have a la carte, meaning you can just get your burrito or your taco or your side of rice, or you can get the combination plate. So the combination plate is going to be the big bundle. The big bundle includes everything that I already showed you, but it also includes lots more things. Uh, that I do not bring in a la carte. When you buy the big bundle, you um, get everything and the big bundle is marked down 15% because you're buying it all. Okay, uh, so if you love a collection, this is definitely the way to go. Definitely the way to go. So the things that we already looked at that were a la carte, we have the six by eight paper pad, the 12 by 12, or excuse me, the six by eight paper pad, the sticker book. We have the five packages of die cuts. Um, where? Well, I gotta figure that one out because it's not in here. Um, five packages of die cuts, which are going to be your floral bits, your bits, your journal bits, your sticker bits, and the big bits. Uh, and then the rub on. So those are all the a la carte products that I showed you and the washi. Now the other things that are in the big bundle that I don't bring in a la carte, you have the chipboard frame. So, so six chipboard frames, look how cute that little like bamboo frame with the little uh, palm trees and the little VW bus. Oh, well, that's fun too, like the little life preserver. Uh, you have the uh, enamel dots. So those are like glittery. I mean, it's built into the enamel, but they're kind of glittery. Uh, you have the decorative brads. So these are your metal with epoxy on top and then some self-adhesive chipboard. Self-adhesive brads and then your self-adhesive chipboard as well. We have the um, pack of two. So six by 12, six by 12. Love those titles. Vacation, tropical, love the kind of shadowy effect. Paradise. Then you have the chipboard. Last but not least, in that big bundle, you have the collection kit. Um, striped washi with the palm trees. I know, wasn't that good, Deborah? I agree. Um, last but not least, you have the collection kit in just BT. It's part of the big bundle. Uh, so you have your 12, 12 by 12 uh, pattern paper. Oh, there we go. There it is. There is that, speaking of the palm tree, right? The stripe with the palm tree, so fun. So, so fun. Um, and then you have that really pretty teal floral. Uh, the map with the geotags and the pink and orange palm trees. All the little sea creatures and the waves. I just love this one. We saw this in the six by eight too. I think that's so fun, like the sand and the water stripe. You have that floral uh, and then the grid. This is kind of what Kelly Bangs is known for, her style. 
um, the beautiful florals, and then we always see like grids and things, ledgers and grids in her collections, which I just love. Um, this is another thing that she's known for. In a lot of the collections that she does, um, she has a sheet like this uh, that has um, all those little cards, right? So you could cut those apart or you could use the whole sheet. I've made some um, really fun kind of demo layouts with a piece of paper like that. You can do some really cool, fun things with it. There's your little kind of pink wood grain. That's paper, but it's kind of those stickers, like sticker look that we saw, right? Kind of looks like your vinyl stickers. Horizontal, horizontal. Uh, diagonal stripe. There are your little tags. Your journal elements. Your three by four cut aparts. Your four by four, two by twos. That one, I love that look so much. I think that is so fun. Uh, four by four, two by twos with your little palm tree scene. And then your four by six cut aparts with your kind of little furnish look there. And then part of that 12 by 12 collection kit is also the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. All right, friends. Woo! That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot, a lot. I am going to, I think I've been sweating. I am turning on the overhead lights. I am going to turn off the studio lights. And then we're going to set our device until Friday. And then until Saturday. Okay, rotating the camera now. One, two, three. You didn't know I could stand on my head, did you? I used to be able to do that. Like 10 years ago, I could do that. Um, anyhow, anyhow, I'm a little crooked. Okay, all right friends, so four brand new Simple Stories collections we just took a look at. Summer Snapshots, uh, Simple Vintage Essentials Color Palette, Mouthful. Um, pack Your Bags and Just Beachy. All four, all four in stock, shipping now. Um, you'll find those if you click in the description box of the video that will take you to the What's New page on my website. Um, many of those products I showed you available a la carte and then also in the big bundle. Um, in April, you will see uh, two mini book kits from me. One using a uh, simple vintage essentials color palette. Uh, the other one using the pack your bags. So there'll be a travel mini book and then the simple vintage essentials color palette. Uh, and in April, you will also see a travel themed traveler's notebook project kit. And that uses um, an entirely different manufacturer, different the, that collection uh, that I'm using. And that looks nothing like this pack your bag. So two totally different things. Uh, and then in May, you will see a mini book project kit for summer using summer snapshots. So stay tuned for all those things. Um, if you are not aware, uh, tomorrow, through Sunday, big, 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 big things happening in my world. March 21st, 2020 was um, the anniversary date. That was the start of the very first um, Saturday session I did on YouTube, beginning a pandemic. Four years later, tomorrow is four years later, which is crazy to think about. So um, tomorrow's that day. Uh, we start the celebration Friday morning, the 22nd at 8 a.m. Pacific time. I will be back here in my YouTube channel live showing you 15 brand new Lail by Mail products. Um, one of those is the brand new idea book. So much fun stuff to share with you guys, I can't even stand it. Um, there will be some shopping happening and just, it, that will make sense Friday. Um, if you're ordering anything tonight and wanna hold your order, um, just when you place the order, put a note on the order or shoot me an email, lailbymail at gmail.com and say, hey, hold my order until, um, and then, if you have stuff you want to add on Friday, you can just email me and add to it. All right, um, so that's Friday, Friday morning, 8 a.m., live. If you can't make it live, no worries. You can watch the replay, just like you can always watch these replays. I'll also do a fun announcement uh, that morning as well, because uh, we got to have a big way to celebrate. Uh, and then Saturday morning, the 23rd, I had to check my dates. Uh, Saturday morning, 23rd, all day listing. Karen, all day listing on Saturday. Because uh, I know Karen always loves those. Anyhow, we'll do all day listing Saturday. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, an email will go out. So tomorrow morning, Thursday, the 21st, an email will go out with all the details for Saturday. All right? Um, okay, just lots going on, friends. Lots going on right now. So some very exciting things. I'm very excited. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've shared with you, either leave a comment on the video when it is done or go to Lay All Be Mail and click contact 
laylebymail.com, click contact us. Shoot me an email and then I will be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, let me just look, look, look. Um, yes, Karen, you got it. That's you, you love the old airs. You gotta make sure you're there. Um, na -na 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 -na. let's see. Sarah said so much fun. Thank you. Okay, friends, I think if I missed any of your comments in the chat, um, I apologize. Just sort of sometimes I just get too focused on what I'm doing. Um, I hope to see you on Friday morning as I share all my new Lail by Mail products. Um, if you can't make it, obviously you can do the replay. And if not, I hope you join us on Saturday. Even if maybe you don't normally list with us, it's going to be a really fun day. Lots of um, fun listing and giveaways and prizes and all kinds of fun things. So I've got loads of things planned. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight and uh, have a great rest of your evening. And if I don't see you on Friday or Saturday, um, I hope to see you um, around here on the interweb soon. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye-bye.